have because we do not ask and sometimes when we ask we ask with wrong motive and so during this time I want us to ask something of the Lord ask something with faith just take it to the Lord in prayer I don't know about your life but just take it to the Lord in prayer is it your future you are worried about is it your family that is worrying you? Are they the papers that are coming that are worrying you? Ask the Lord. Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask and you shall receive. So go ahead and ask the Father. Just take it to the Lord in prayer. He is a friend like no other, there's no one like him. So go ahead and ask for anything and he shall give to you. And what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What our privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace! Oh, what peace we often fall. Jesus, I every week. Just take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord. Do thy friends despise for safety?
for research, science and technology. This is the date. chambers whereby we make the cow dung, we make the biogas, and we have gas here inside mm. that we use to maybe warm water during milking to get fertilizers for crop production. So and we are soon now going to value addition of milk that we shall be making our own yogurt here at the university. How many? 
have do you have uh, just this school or you have a few we have another farm beside these ones we are uh, this one just uh because here it's unique but we are bringing more to ensure that we have a maximum of around 10 that can be accommodated in this farm mm -hmm. yes <clears throat> so we have different projects as a farm this is one of them animal production we have pig eye as you can see that side yeah, side. Mm -hmm. yeah. we have uh, rabbitry this side we shall see we have also poultry, we have orchard, we have mangoes and oranges, we have banana production, we have pasture production, we have our, our, our rabbits, for the take care, and also as well as uh, cows here. So we all use also those ones to train our students, so that we have real students who are qualified, who are health farmers, to ensure that they produce very well in areas of agriculture, that is animal food production. So maybe from here we shall go to see the rabbits up, that's a good for you to we also have a silage banker, yeah. and this is in partnership with Addis Foundation. It's a donation, mm -hmm. and uh, even the cows that you have here would be having more, but uh, of course, the resource teams are <laughs> we have the other ones which we need to upgrade. Okay. Each cow here is about seven, four point five million uh, to buy from the farmer. Each cow has given us ten residents. They had a question. They are. Um, what's the vision for the farm? Vision. Yeah, because if we are teaching people that farming is a business, which can sustain you and make you grow rich, can we demonstrate here that this farm is making money for the university? Or for you, you appeal the university budget? They put in money, but you don't have the responsibility to demonstrate that it is a profitable industry. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm, I'm asking. What's the vision? What? How much money are you going to put in the That you are going to contribute to the Very important. Yeah. Thank you very much. And that's a very good question. Yeah. 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 I would like to see the farm market as well. Before, as I, I came here as a farm manager, we had the the farm was not yet to this level. Mm. But now we are trying to grow it to the level because <coughs> this this structure accommodates over I accommodate ten cows. Now we have two. And this is the starting point. And that is where we are heading as the, as the farm as well as the who we are in support with us. We want to make sure that this farm as well as it is a teaching facility but it becomes also a business. But how much is coming out? That's what is the mm. income Mm. And how much are we putting in? How much mm. is coming yeah, out? Yeah. When are we getting out of negative cash flow <coughs> into, into the Chivaro? Because mm. Mm. you are going by to do as many models. Mm. 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 You have small, some small statistics. Small. And we learn from mm. here. Because yeah. we tend to demonstrate mm -hmm. a little bit of science, but we don't demonstrate the business. Mm. Yeah. Well, maybe you don't have the answer. But it's, it's no, it's I the want to <laughs> the same question. Mm -hmm. That the farm gives us. So they specialize in teaching us when they should be having the demonstration farms themselves. And they should at least teach the farmers. Yes. So they, they go and teach farmers things which are scientific are okay, but not. But surely, for me on my parish visit, mm. when I go to my parish, mm. I ask my uh, the parish priest. One of the items they always report to me is the income they get from their projects mm. in the parish. So in the university, it should even be much. The better. business model <laughs> should be developed so. as yeah. part of yeah. the farm, the university farm. Mm. Mm. If it becomes just a consumptive unit in the university budget, mm. then it will never bring out the yeah. kind of people that we want. Because they are not learning the business end. Yeah. Okay.
Whatever, however the structure is, yeah. you start by at least get a bag of cement and some bricks around and create something here. Mm. Which they should be. Ever, nobody should be allowed in their house without yeah. stepping in the rock. So this is a, another project that has just been finished this year. Uh, about the project. This project, uh, we are ensuring that we have numerous projects. Mm -hmm. One for teaching purposes. Second, now we start generating income, as I have been saying. Mm -hmm. This is a newly invested project. And as you say, we are looking forward now to make the farm business not just only for teaching and seeing animals. So you can see these are few, probably a few rabbits, but I think most of them have followed, five have followed, the baby they will all feel this structure. Where are the babies? The babies are in this way. You can show. Huh? She wants her hand to in her No, she cannot. <laughs> The bunnies. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. okay. And the little is doing well. Those are the worms, all producing. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough material yet. We are looking forward to having a bigger structure than this mm -hmm. as a university. Yeah. Okay, we are doing research on the urine. 
Yeah. There are too many people in the market claiming rabbit urine does this, rabbit urine, but there is no standardization of data. Yeah, and that is not what we want to do. There is no documentation. There is no documentation yeah. of how we can standardize the use of rabbit urine. Everybody and so people produce jelly cans and jelly cans, then nobody buys them. Mm -hmm. So, so that is now the next project. I want to so the out. universities should provide for us this uh, okay. data mm -hmm. and evidence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, when I used so much dilution, wow, mm -hmm. these are so beautiful. You know, mother rabbits mm -hmm. are very caring. Mm -hmm. So it took all its mm -hmm. yeah. hairs. Mm -hmm. but what you see there is the hair from the, from the mother. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it, it lines its nest to make sure its babies are very, very safe. Very yeah, well. yeah, they are very comfortable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a veterinary doctor, so mm. I know a lot about it. And your husband? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and your husband is a That's, veterinary doctor? No, he's, um, he's an agriculture. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 An entomologist, actually. Okay. So, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So our next owner, apart from this modern structure, mm. we have just a small cage for the student outside the area. Mm. We are comparing the visitors. We showcase them. You might not have this. You might not have this, but mm. you can still have a small, um, a small cage. So this is for the students. Uh, they, they are showing that. What is happening with the community? And we are comparing that you might not go for this because of the startup capital that we can begin with. This is the studio. These are the innovations. Yeah. So these are the innovations. We compare because we are dealing with our farmers and we are trying to set up how they can manage, how they can improve. There's so a lot of income. Uh, mm. the, with the small startup capital and they will grow into such a structure. So we encourage them to tell us what they go and what they find in the field when they go for internship. Mm -hmm. So they showcase that these are the structures for the farmers. So we train mm -hmm. we train them that let them, them go on and encourage them to go ahead for such structures. Mm -hmm. So this is what is prepared from the village. Some of your graduates do it after the Yes. And so they are portraying what is happening, but some are really, uh, yeah. mm. <laughs> Yes. Because if you have more smaller yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. go down. They may not collect it, but it mm. goes down. Then it helps. Them for the fecal material. Yes. After a few times, this is what it is. Then the blood is done. They are showing that what is happening in the blood. Then the blood is that is because of the stress and pressure. So they raise the blood. They are saying that that is what they are doing. So after doing this, they innovate so they practice with the modern structure. Yes, there is a difference between the rest of the but this one is not for the we are not for the community.
In fact, a person should have no it. choice. Mm. And it should be a long be that I can't skip it. Whether you are doing like this, you can't. Whether okay. Even if you want even to jump. This side. Mm. And even we this is deep. Mm. It's too deep. It should so be a person will weigh whether to step in or not. Mm. Okay. So it is supposed to be at least, in, you see this uh, middle finger? Mm. That should be the, the deepest. Mm. Because all you need is the bottom yes, mm. Mm. and make it and but make sure the person cannot jump from here yeah. to there exactly. without stepping because this one is now for showcasing it's not for doing it properly okay. so i would not be shocked to hear that you have a lot of um, diseases going on but this is not function okay mm. so we are going to improve now mm. and and also <laughs> you also Practice so it you, you because I saw the uh, manager yeah. himself that's dodging it. That's yeah. the next, yes. The manager himself. <laughs> so, has farmers have that tendency, they think <laughs> it is visitors that bring yeah, diseases, yeah, yeah. for them, they don't bring. Mm. So, when they come themselves, they jump. Okay. So, you are the one actually that keeps infecting your farm and not the other people. Mm. So, you, you should see, be the is, one to show it. It's really yeah. dangerous to try and step in that. Mm. So, it's, it's not good for teaching students. Yes. Mm. You are teaching them mm. badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm. Bad. Mm. Okay, we are going to correct that. Yes, you correct it. It is, yeah. it is not to be. Yeah. Mm. You just uh, dig one one brick. But the, the really it should be that mm. if I try you move yeah. around. If I try <coughs> mm. I should still be yes. mm. stepping. <laughs> Even uh, yeah, so it should come up to here, so that if I try, I'll still step in there. Mm. So in science, when we have brought science now to practice, yes. we, we 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 are not going to tell it to you to leave the decision to you. Mm. We put the technology mm. to make the decision. Yes. Mm. Like uh, most of you, once I put my vaccine in you, you mm. can have a choice to put on your mask or not. Okay. Mm. Mm. The mask is still too much in your choice. Mm. When I have a vaccine, mm. <laughs> at least I've achieved that you not be too sick, you may not die. I don't have to spend a lot of time within the hospital. <laughs> the other technology that is here, we are using soil stabilized blocks. Yeah, this I one. saw it, and yeah. this one I admired it. Yes. I was wondering whether it is uh, <laughs> strong. Stabilized technology. Yeah? It is. We have a, we have no, them the well. for making them and some building so far. Yeah, they are good. Catching the Yeah, they are in. 
How much? You said you have 1,000? Uh, what that is happening, the, most of them they have reached at the offering stage. Mm. So we have sold some mm. and we are in the process of having new chicks. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can stay for the orchard. For the orchard, we can go to another place. Let's go take pictures. Which is a better intervention? Mm. To improve the water or to replace the pipe? Replace the pipe. The water, I think, I don't know whether it can do that. Maybe the university can have our own water because we have mm. other than we trees. Can that
Yeah, we have fat around the culture. We have an intervention in it there, but we are in the discussion. Moses, where are you? And we hope to complete this year. This was not for COVID in the budget, we have the money, we are going to do this. We are building nothing, and this was for when COVID came, we constantly were doing nothing. This is on the whole campus, that's on the next seat. Extraction of essential oils from aromatic products, including lemon grass, lemon eucalyptus, rosemary, and others. It has three main components. We have the steam generator outside where we boil water from and we get the steam. And the steam goes through the plant material through this boiler, then it is condensed here. So after condensation, we collect the history and we have uh, an ongoing activity of rosemary extraction. So when we get the, the distillate, it will come with essential oil on top of water. We take it to the lab and then we put it using a filter fan. It is that oil that we use for making the different products, including perfumes, including the cosmetics, for skin care products. Yes, we are extracting it. And we also use the flower water for making the hope syrups, liquid soap, shampoos, and the other products. And we are also Yerewa supplying the lower chamber, which is a store for cold water. Ah, in case the, the cooler gets so hot, we pump water from here yeah. to make this temperature lower. Do you have uh, engineering? We have started. We have UBT, but it's a good arrangement. We didn't have it. Because I was going to give you an answer, you know, to make me a good one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's great. Reverse engineering. We, we, we can do it. We, can, we have the engineers. We we have to benchmark from what? an engineer from the one the one who developed it for us. We have the person who model. So somebody all materials was, are here. It was developed. We design yes. it and then we procure the materials and who, who was that? His name? The young guy from John. The name is it Ambrose. Yes, it's Ambrose. Uh, Ambrose. Oh, you know him. Ashabahebo. Yes. Ah, <laughs> good. We have so, so we already have the products, the, are, yeah. the products are in exhibition and the lab. So you are just consumers of the technology. But this mm. is something that could be good to But our, our design is different from others, by the way. Mm. Mm. Because we have to go to map, we have to go to the mm. And this, we are suppliers of COVID. Some of the oils come from this lab. Because this is a food grade. Then we have equipment here, which I've gotten from uh, the governor, the rich governor. 
And we have gardens of lemon cactus in Nara. We have almost now about 10 acres. Mm -hmm. uh, the mask, the good scent around. Mm -hmm. yeah? It's coming with the All of it. Do you have the technology here? It's very nice to say. Yes, the machine is working. We got the machine, we, we produce from down. Our soil, after we have good soil, these are soils of BSU, the lower part. Even when we are building, we have enough soil. There's a whole. It's stayed and it is good. Our blocks are good. There is a whole classroom block which was made with yes, that. those the, bricks. What are they? The ice is Yeah. Interlocking soils stabilized blocks. Mm. There is a whole building that was commissioned by the first lady down there in Fakat on education. And we are going to do the chapel with them. Yes, But they are giving us steps. And actually this is the first time we are crying out for them. Yes. That is how I talk. University, we are writing an MOU because of the, the Prezai project. So, Professor Wako, what are the special equipment? Because what you see here, our biggest challenge we don't have equipment, but you can have partnerships. Mm -hmm. And I know we know very well what is happening. Professor Wako is receptive and want to push the project further. Mm -hmm. Again, I'll ask the same question. Mm -hmm. Is it in Africa's mode? No, I think you had 
Yes. So what is it now? Maybe in the team. Is it an enterprise? It is enterprise, but also incubation for students. Yes. Demonstrate the students. Yes. That they can make money. Yes. Huh? Even the students under the incubation, some of them have been doing work to make the product. So students come for practicals, we incubate their ideas, and after developing the products, they go ahead and do business.
you can you speak, speak up, up loud. Because they ended the recording you. After receiving the theme of this DSU week, which is enhancement of teaching, learning, and assessment in the day. We came up with this idea of developing an online test table where students can access a pen table online. Then, after, if you have a smartphone or a computer, this can be hosted online and the student can access it as any other information infrastructure. Then, as you hear, there is a teaching pen table which is not showing days, which is showing days. Basically, I use the program of DSU, and in DSU, always on Friday, we have a community hour, which is starting across on Friday, and this time is reserved. Then, I have also a good where design, such that the students can have its own timetable. When, let's say, I think this year is near one, a student doing computer science. I can say this year's one, where I am describing computer science, the one you can have all the records, the pen table showing the, the laws where this year's one is indicated. Like here, I'm seeing this year's one down, I'm seeing this one in this law, where this one will be having a lecture that side. Then, another thing, another thing I also designed on the end of semester time table. That's examination. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have. Of them, the end of semester time table. Yeah. These plans they can be there, and the student can know when it's coming. Okay. And so are you making it an app? Yeah. So that I, I can just check. Desktop application. So this student is showcasing a, a repository for students themselves. Uh, and my name is of Arita Borno, doing diploma in information technology at DSU. Uh, after receiving a film, which we are, which is, which we are following in this DSU week, uh, I came up with the idea of designing something which will help students and lecturers at large. Uh, I managed to develop students' record system which will be mainly focused on capturing students' information. So, uh, whereby, when I come on managed systems, when I come on managed systems, I can be able to add a student, let's say, so it is asking me to enter full names of the student, let's say I have entered Alinda, don't know as, as the names, then the email, I enter, the email so I'm trying to enter the record of the student then I select the gender I see it is a male then address let's say it's coming from Marara and the cost ID that is the cost that that student is, is taking let's say he's taking bachelor's of information technology and the registration number let's say he's taking that one, and then this contact, then send to this. Then send to this. Then I will choose his date of birth. The date of birth, let's say, 
especially practical. Uh, this online lecture can be accessed either on YouTube or on Zoom. You can record if you want, and then later you can edit and then upload. You can as well go on with the class while students are attending online. So this gentleman is, uh, is representing our lecturer. In case the lecturer is in class teaching, these screens this side are uh, the screens for the one controlling this side to monitor. We also have this screen whereby the lecturer can monitor himself or, or about what is going on and he can be able to tweet in our screen. So he's going to, for example, uh, do some a little bit of explanation like as if he's teaching. No. No class. Um, I don't know if you're going to do like for now, we are going to talk about ICT. ICT report is information, information and communication technology. Whereby we use some ICT devices like computers, phones, and others. So as we are doing. We have some services where IT is used, like education, health, security, education, security, and and 
Uganda is different. So,
Good afternoon to you all. My name is Barbara, and what I'm going to take us through is the how to use a microcomputer to connect and this. And you set up a computer of yourself. Let's try for it. A microcomputer. This is it. The microcomputer here. Especially we are targeting the students or the people that are unable to afford a computer accessories, but yet they can be able to afford the screens. We have, we have seen families with screens at home, and then they have limited resources to use. So with the effective use of a microcomputer, when you get to the power, I can be able to access anything. I can use it for study, for work, for entertainment, anything, just like the way you'd be using your personal computer. And then still, when I have my phone, I can still transfer files to this screen here and do anything I want from there. That's it, let's study. And have we had study in the family files? Thank you guys. Thank you. Raise the flag The department the department is for sitting and information science. So here we showcase the other side of the library. So we have key resources here and we have several libraries. Uh, this is the the for access, so we can just have a quick look on the team. IR. So the student's photo, just like we've shown, has a window to access this. So the the Apart from uh, having a physical library, we also have several libraries we have access to. So, so actually, uh, we all this, whatever the students, whatever has been demonstrated, we access information from the library. There are links to every class that they can use to access the databases and pick information to enable them to do their coursework and be innovative in the other fields and uh, the university subscribes each year so that they can have up to date information so do you ever have network failure? Pardon? Do you ever have network failure? Uh, if it's sometimes when it goes off when there is a national cable breakdown but otherwise we have internet. So what about that? Uh, we have we have servers that run routes um, look at how, it. how we do it is you because the services are online, but yeah. we have servers that mirror the servers. Yeah. So exactly. if there is exactly. no connectivity by internet, the You'll service can be able to access. Look the the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the heart, we train students to begin their own businesses. The team. Team of the Team of the minister. Getting good. We train current students to be able to do businesses while they are still at the university. We train them to, we, we take them through the process of registering these businesses so that when they, are, when they graduate, they are able to continue with these businesses and also employ other youth. So here we have two categories of, of entrepreneurs. We have those that we have taken through almost a two-year process of learning how to do business and also developing innovative products and they have graduated from the university. These are some of them who have graduated. We have a lawyer there. She has a business. We met her at the forum some time ago. And, um, yeah, we also have a group over there as you go around you, you will see that group is actually our 
it's like a child of the incubation hub. They are not students, but the student was in the hub for two years. He produced, we supported him to develop Nyonjera yogurt. It's yogurt with lemon grass. Mm -hmm. Now, when they get out into the field, you can't just work with, um, with with just the yogurt in a business. So you go on to, to develop other products that you can put in the business to be able to employ others. Now, he has been able to. Maybe let's go by what to explain how it is. A hundred percent natural is made of also lemon and aloe vera, so it's very nice after shaving. So where are you with your business? Uh, we operate from around Pakova to Barara. Yeah. We are making this out of lemon. And how much? Uh, how much do you produce per week? Per week. Or per month? What's your uh, production? We based on we only based on the market. But so what? Okay. How much do you sell per week? Per week we sell more than twenty liters. Ten. To twenty liters. Twenty liters. Yes. Well, do you vend? Do you have a store? Do you have? Uh, we are selling in wholesale to business people, then they... So you are business to business? Yes. Now when you are out there, you have labels. Is this the label which you take out commercial? Yes, this is the label. Now, don't sell... When we support you, we don't need you to carry you to the market. You should be branding your product. Your students. Mm. I used to leave the business in my mm. home. But now, for um, what, you know, when I buy, I feel like it's a product. So the branding for the market, the branding for our students, okay? but the branding for the merchants. Branding Yes. 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 What is the reason why you have a two product? Yeah, we don't have enough in the machinery. So it is very good production. Yes. Okay. This is the honeycomb briquettes that we get from agriculture. The major problem that we are trying to solve is deforestation, trying to protect the climate change and upholding the goals of the state. Not only goal number seven. So basically, this is cooking, also bringing Bringing the chicks and also leaving the in house. Before. So this goes for 1,500 Uganda shillings. We had to make it on that price so that we give to the community something that is cheap and available at all times. Comparing to charcoal right now, the bag is up to 100,000 shillings. Electricity is too expensive. So we came up with an alternative to supply that. This is the chicken brooder, as you see there. Right there is our customer. He is using our product. It is lighting and the chicks are ready. Guess you know, for how long in a brooder? In the brooder, this goes to six hours. Four active hours and two passive hours. For cooking, it's the same amount of the time. When you're done with cooking, you can cook whatever you want. So this is a cooking stove. So where is the money in your brooder? Where is the money? Is it in this? Is it in this? What do you sell? We sell this at a large scale, but we thought it wise that we also make the 
the the store that we did. How is the business going? Commercially, we are trying to improve by the information happening. So you are not yet really commercialized. We are. We are actually just carry road. It's where our outlet is. We are you making profit? Yes. 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 Yeah, we are making profit because the cost price of this, the raw materials that we use, was we use agricultural waste, banana peeling, that we get from farmers, then molars, and we also use clay soil that we get from the south. So after that, we make this one, we get a profit of 600. This one, then we, we have the wealthy person that makes it for us. We give the measurement so that it can accommodate this block of that bucket. How much a month? How much? How much? How much are you selling? For, for, for the broader, we will sell them on, on the order. A month, we are selling the broader, we make up to 1 million. Then this one, in a month, we make 2 million. Because most of the use them. Okay. Yes. We have finished this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the company is registered. Yeah, we have. So this is how it's like. Up that new friend, so there is a new friend that is coming out, right? The heat keeps igniting from this one down and keeps moving up to give warmth to the kids around there. So, as uh, you are welcome, Madam Minister Honorable, and uh, this is KM Royal Grill Poultry Farm. And uh, what we do basically is that we raise, raise royal chicks. And for me personally, I am a second year student doing bachelor's of agriculture and community development. So, as we started, I thought of something that I can do that can always give me some money to put my studies in terms of rent and upkeep. So, for maximum one and a half months, then we sell. As you can see, it is a project which needs a, a, a small startup capital and at the same time, a little space. So I found it, as a person who is doing agriculture, I found it very convenient for me. Since I'm a student, I may not have all that much space and capital, and at the same time, I may not have much time. So I, I found this project very convenient for me. So as you see them here, by the end of one month, they will be like this one. And uh, we sell such kind of a bike when it is at one month at 15,000 shillings. And we consider students. So these are one month, they are ready for sale. Yes, these ones are ready, are ready for sale. We consider students now from my math research that I did. I found out that most of my fellow students, uh, especially girls, like ticket and they always hold parties, birthday parties, but they always go and buy from town. But I do operate online. Like we have WhatsApp groups, Facebook, uh, so the campus. Chicken here. Yes, we do. Very smart. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very smart. 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 But by now, it is uh, our groups are using simply because of uh, the program fees. They are going very, very expensive. And uh, actually, it's our goal that if you can subsidize the base, you can not subsidize for something. Just increase the price. Mm. So, thank you. Mm. Oh, oh, this is a chance for you to innovate. Can you grow the maize yourself? Yeah, no, actually we yeah, are doing it. innovation. Yeah, we are growing maize. Ugandans want to avoid the problems. They want to avoid challenges by saying government. No, a challenge is an opportunity for you to innovate. The government at Yambi. No, a challenge is an opportunity. It's another business opportunity for you to innovate. Yeah. So you you when you face a challenge, you don't think the government should subsidize it. That will be taking from Tom to pay Peter. Hmm? When we subsidize, we have to increase the price. So we have to increase the tax somewhere to subsidize you, and the economy will fail. The government doesn't have money just there. We get the money from you. So whenever you find a challenge, go back and say. Mm -hmm. What business opportunities here for me?
Yeah, we actually doing a magot reyari. Aha. So that we can cause the supplement on the fish. Yes, that is it. Yeah. You could even find how do I make the litter protein after removing here so that it can grow much. The litter you use it by now to grow the maize. Now that the whole set of rain has become a more That is it. That is it. Sort of a problem. Every time you see a problem, this is a continue. Because he also exists because you take your things. So don't look at 
and the bad. So you, for you, you concentrate. You're doing very well what you do best. <laughs> Designing the shoes and marketing the shoes. Yes. You see, America designs things, but they don't manufacture them. They send them to China. But America still does it. So, but you optimize your model, you will find that by concentrate on looking at how to develop better designs. And so taking to someone to design for you, doing this work hard. It's hard, but it's very good. It will last. It it you might. Okay. How is the business? The business is well, but. The challenges, like the first soft challenges of lack of patience. Of course, right now I use my free hands, which means when I use hands, I do not produce many shoes like how I can, like the shoes I can produce with my own machine, the sewing machine, and the different machine, like look at the shoe. No, this is 41, this is 27, like that. And me, other than that, I mainly I started this business to find an employment among you. Because I'm starting, but I'm not sure. So, can I get a job? Can I get a job? I can't leave on the side. Even if you are sure, you'll get a job. Yes. We don't, we started to get knowledge, not to get jobs. Yes. yes. And most of us are obsessed with job. Do you know what job, job means? Just over Just over Many people are so obsessed. When you get a job, you've seen here, we have teachers, they bribe the people to get those jobs. Yes. But now, they are striking. <laughs> so they <laughs> Yeah, so if you have an opportunity to have an enterprise, don't be thinking, oh, when I finish, you should just try to pick as many skills from the education, take a, get as much knowledge, and put as much thought into your enterprise. Go with Then thinking, oh, now, now that you are studying education, you have acquired training skills, which you can use to train your workers, you can yes. use to train other people. You don't have to find a job. So many Uganda we have class officers to jobs. Yes. <laughs> but when you create something, then you become an employer. I become an employer. I train. Now I where train. Do, so where do you get the leveling machines? The leveling machines. Uh, but now I go to town to level them, but I'm struggling hard if I can rest. Yeah. Let me understand the kind of house. Now I'm thinking the show. Because they have a very viable business. The machines are sold around the girl. Now, when you go to the railway industry, yes. you can custom design for you what you want. You can design for you. They produce machines. So you go there, you know the place. <laughs> go to the Kampala. <laughs> they know that the Kampala it is in Nakasongo. They they have machines which design machines, which shape shoes, which could even help you to level it produce other designs, other designs of sorts. Then let us know what you do. Okay. There's the sewing, somebody is here sewing for you. Focus on what you don't have total, which is making you very slow. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, our company produces by big brand of professional clubs that are organic according to United Nations environmental program 2001, 9% of plastics are being corrected and recycled. But about 14% they are just there in the mix. However, 77% they are being littered in the environment and thus pollutes the environment. So in here, we produce organic bags that are biodegradable and they can take three to six weeks to deform. 
because I need the data. So this is our business. These are gift bags which are sold in supermarkets. And in, in here, these are packaging bags that are being taken by these snack centers, takeaway, those who make takeaway meals. So we, we use our banana fiber when it is dry. We decollect and make like what hand is like this one. Like this one. So where are you in your business? You are under market already? Yes. What's your turnover? Monthly turnover? Monthly turnover is five hundred thousand. Can I show you? Yes. Uh, the, this you sell how much? Uh, this one is 100 shillings. This is 200 shillings. Okay, so it's cheaper than a capera. Yes. And, uh, have you calculated your business to see where, which is the most profitable product? Uh, the most profitable product is here. Whereby, yes. yes, many restaurants are coming up. And I'm able Are you to able to this. make the market? Yes, I'm able to sell this in bulk. Then these ones are being sold in supermarkets, shopping centers, migration shops. So what's your limitation? Uh, my limitation is about the machine. I do not have the machine that fabricates this into the threads. So that's why my first option So the one which extracts, what do you use? Uh, I use my hands. Yes. That's, that's yes, then in here, because I'm trying to reduce the waste in the environment, in here there is a town that I can fold and make a good flower base where you can plant a vegetable, a natural flower, you can plant it here and you put it in your living room. So this is an old tower? Yes. It's old but you mix in some ingredients and it becomes hard and you're able to put you soil it as and plant. A, a what plant. Yes, because also I'm trying, yes, I have three enemies who are working on this. I've trained women who are doing this. Uh, me, majorly, I'm here and marketing, but I have people who are doing who are doing this for me. So in here there is there is a plastic bottle because I'm trying to avoid carbon footprints in the environment. So I'm co I'm collecting the plastic and making out good things. Yes. Thank wow. you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> she needs help with branding. She needs help with branding. Really, in the, in the analysis, it will be accelerated. What will help her to accelerate? She needs help with branding, with refining this. For me, too, the Chinese. <laughs> Banana value chain is one of our priorities mm. because now you are making this. Banana, we have yeah. 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 yeah, this is polyester, plastic. Yeah. So if she was in, make yeah. it, it her handles from here, but so she can do business analysis to see the rent limit systems. It's an acceleration. Thank you. 
Are you a student or you are a graduate? Graduate. 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 <laughs> Where is your shop in business? Where are you based? You have a very small business card. You can send one to me. Sorry. Boy, <laughs> But they are my students and my brother. They are grandchildren yeah, of the university. From the university. So it was quite the school I got today. <laughs> so, Otherwise, we have a lot of money. The carving is very open. I need to make sure that. Oh, my So, we make ice cream. Make it and make it. So I don't know what I'm saying. Actually, I, I use one of my favorite notions I put on my face. I bought it. I was given a on the other university. It has been. People say he has made my skin. So you see, I'm very pretty because but you grow it. You are the outdoors. So we grow it and use it. Make the juice. Make the meat. And also you make the wine. So you are selling this? We want to find out what it is so we can support. Come on, Yes. This innovation is how much now that we have our demo down there, we can see on how we can do the university and we start making for the supply for them. This is a nice demonstration for the guard time. <laughs> Because Mr. Ijin is still a global challenge on the African continent, and so we came up with uh, this innovation of making sanitary pads so that we can support the girl child. Uh, this project has been running through Ibanda, Kamenga, and Chenjojo district, so these girls have safe periods. Each one is how much? Each one is 25, user friendly. And reusable. First of all, I'm impressed that men are accepting. Yes. Yes. <laughs> men are accepting that menstruation is normal. It's normal. Yes. It's nothing that shames a woman. Yes. And seeing a sanitary pad is not a taboo. Yes. Because otherwise, you yes. know the way we are. It's annoying. You don't even want anybody to know that you are under menstruation. That's a physiological process. It's not a disease. We are getting a project for Rotary. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.
thousand something. Yeah. I'm a bride. What materials do you use? Uh, this is a baby blanket. My best. Ivanda. So you buy baby blankets? Use baby blankets because they are very risky. And they cannot protect your body. Okay. And even they cannot damage. Then polyester. This is very light. Yes. Then inside there is a baby mat that polyester cannot allow the land. Have you followed up uh, with the users? Yes. Get their experience. Yes. Some sanitary materials and please. Come and use one. Use one. I need like four. Four parts. Four in my office. Okay. Thank you. I want to go and, and, and give it to her to try. Okay. And I this give you that. I will deliver them. Sanitary towels. Reusable ones. These are friends. They use them. Huh? You have a trade. So you are, you, you, is this a um, uh, commercial product? Yes. Yes. And we do training. Yes. yes. And also we get to, uh, we get to train people in our uh, community. So that is one stream of income. Yes. You do training, either the customer pays or somebody. Yeah. And institutions. But we are also able to sell this. Yes. I, I suspect part like this. Yes. What is that? I'm sorry, this is part. Part. Oh, yes, part. Have a, have a part. Okay. So how much is the part? How much is it? Yes. Same price. Okay. Yeah, so you can pack and eat one. Yeah, you wash it. So what is it use? What's your capacity? Uh, sometimes we produce um, 300, depending. So money to have a limit. How much cash? Even 1,000 can produce. You have the capacity to use 1,000 lines. Or you have the money to have a character. Okay. So I will buy some. I just in your account. How do you know that? This is two five. Each. Seven eight. We usually think that uh, we use uh, Stonella, Lavender. These plants are repellent to the students. Have you actually tested whether they reduce my age? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you, you shower it before having... You study it, it's already somewhere, but they have not been really studied that actually they will result in result reduction of malaria. But <laughs> This is banana cake and the uniqueness of it is that we use here banana pasta. I'm going to say that. Banana is again water. This is very fun. How much percentage of craft banana? Yes. Yeah. If you put a banana, 10%, 20 percent, how much? I Banana flour. Yes. You put then in the fresh bananas, the ripe bananas. Ripe. Do we use banana flour? Banana flour. A half kilogram. No, we don't add in wheat. You don't put in wheat. Yes. Instead of wheat, we use banana flour. Then we add in. So where, where are they? Where are they? You should have many here. How much is that? Three thousand. Six thousand. Six thousand. Expensive. Yes, that's six thousand. 
Good afternoon to everyone. Standing for you is Ogawa Kagame Mesino from NDA Enterprises, producing red dark wine specifically from grapes and pineapple juice. We are providing market for the farmers planting pineapples, uh, basing on the theme of this year of enhancing learning and teaching through the through Odell. Um, we are designing a website specifically to do marketing and training on via online then this boat is 10,000 only then when we are waiting for this one to mature we do this jewelry of which we do this from the beads and it is handmade and this is 10,000 then the earrings the challenge is you mix in metals so they have some yeah. here Yes. Remind me of you. Design that specifically. And these metals. Not really. Unless it is a very pure silver like. Okay. Now that one you have dropped me. It's yours. It's yours. How much? You can keep it. It's 10,000. Thank you. Then for the earrings is five thousand. They have made on the hill. Like these are very nice, but they have metal. I will be getting involved. It's part of design. Yes, but be aware that there's the many people like to get challenges with the metal. The decoration. Maybe they can make mine. <laughs> Actually, this is good for you. According to the dress code. <laughs> I wish you would use plastic. Plastic. I, I react. If I, like if I try on some of them, I may not. Honorable <laughs> Yeah, 
So these are our usual plastic bottles, the ones that we, after taking water, we dispose of. So this is cold water. These are plastic water tubes, and inside I have aluminium tubes, which are metallic. And when these bottles are heated with sun, there is greenhouse effect inside, an increase in temperature. So that temperature or heat is absorbed by these metallic tubes where water is parting. So by the time water moves in this zaga form and comes out, it is will have heat. Okay, let me test. Yes. <laughs> let me see how hot the water becomes. Ah, it is actually hot. <laughs> Mm. It's hot. <laughs> I hope it is not coming. Yeah, it is cold. <laughs> no, the other one is, is very cold. This is cold. This is cold. Oh, <laughs> so how long has this been here? Yeah, this is interesting. Mm, it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. Okay. It's original. Okay. Original. And this scaled up. Original scaled up. Yeah, no, our young people have a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just just for them them the <laughs> They are waiting <laughs> that you first go there and then you come back. First to deal with the problem. Your point? Yeah, then we finish the time. Then you are alone? Yeah. You can't do anything. 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 I'm 
in thanksgiving and I will now love to invite every one of you to arise and welcome the Honorable Minister of the Republic of Uganda here and for that matter in that regard we will do the anthems we shall start with the national anthem the East African anthem and then do Bishops at University anthem one stanza each It seems this African anthem they do it, the whole of it. I don't know the protocol here there. Or you can do it. seated. Indeed, we know the way, we show the way, and so we go the way. Under situational management, I love to welcome with you that we clap hands in thanksgiving and welcome Honorable Minister Dr. Monica Msenero to us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us this time in your busy schedule to come to us. And I want to thank God so much for you. And under situation of management, I love to invite our dear professor, the vice chancellor, to come and welcome our visitor. And we choose to do it in redeeming of time. Thank you so much. Praise God. Praise God. God is good, and all the time, 
The Lord is good and that is nature. Wow, he deserves the very big hand clap. <laughs> clap for the Lord, clap for the Lord. It's not easy having a minister here. Actually, clap for the minister once again. <laughs> yes. Amen. Our guest of honor, the honorable minister of science, technology, and innovations, Dr. Monica Msenero Masanza, the chancellor, right reverend Dr. Fred Shedwin Mwesigwa, our chief missioner, Bishop Emeritus Geoffrey Rwobu Sisi, may you stand up for recognition, clap for him. And together there is Madame Penny Navi Arugava. May you stand for recognition, the craft for you. This lady, the whole tent last night was very full, and I know tonight it will be too full. Council, the chair council, Professor Kenneth Kagame, and the council members who are here, may you stand for recognition and you welcome them. The council members, these are my bosses, I better introduce you. Madame Professor Kenneth Kagame is the chair. Madam Karen Kabeho is the vice chairperson of council, and she's the inspector of schools, you need to know, and, and, and the chairperson of all inspectors of schools in Uganda. So, teachers. Uh, Reverend Mujuni is the principal of Uganda Bible Institute, but also the council member here. I have management, senior management of BSU. May you stand up for recognition? Yes, the staff of BSU actually stand up. Staff, staff of BSU, stand up and will come the minister. Yes, thank you so much. You are most welcome. Others are there. My husband is also here, Dr. Mjisha. Thank you. And the exhibitors, guild presidents, student leaders, ladies and gentlemen, all the protocols observed, once again, praise God. This is 7th Bishop Stuart University Week, and it is combined with exhibition. I don't want to go in details, but our guest of honor, you are most welcome. To God be the glory. Our theme for a mission has been separate yourselves from the people around you and from your foreign wives. And I can assure you, our honorable minister, I know as a believer, many students have come to the Lord. But also on this note, I want to say, we have made 20 years as a university. So a youth, according to Ezra chapter 3, verse 8, a youth who is 20 years old or older, were put in charge of rebuilding the temple as supervisors. So our theme, therefore, for 20 years is celebrating 20 years of generation transformation of the community through holistic education. And I believe our minister, you have seen what is around through the exhibitions that BSU has something to offer. Our core value number three is pursuit of knowledge and ingenuity. We always stand on our core values and we pray in them. And therefore, what we are doing here is part of the knowledge that God has given us. We are grateful to God for the fire he has brought us. We started this BSU week uh, when we received the charter on 25th of October 2014 that was signed by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, uh, His Excellency, Uwe Kaguta Seven, And it marked the milestone. And more so, we are also in Joshua's generation since 2014. And therefore, priests were key in possessing the promised land, meaning that it is by God's grace that we shall sing victory, hallelujah, and amen. So for that matter, the mission is very core as a university. We did not celebrate 2021 because of COVID. But we thank God that he kept us safe. And in this seventh BSU week, we have had several activities. We march around, we clean the city for which we have done. We have staff workshop. We had a public lecture yesterday, a very big achievement in honor of 
the first vice chancellor, the late Professor Eno Karukari. The chief, or the guest speaker, was Professor Ephraim Kamuntu. And the discussant was Professor Elisa Biti. We had a wonderful time here. Even we had the, the five people signing the service recognition register of those who was the, the family of His Grace the Archbishop Mpara Nkoyoyo, represented by two daughters here, who were the first, were the first chancellor when we were doing the degrees of Uganda Christian University, Mukono. And council and board of trustees and management named the third floor of the library, which is under construction. After him, we called it Professor Eno Karukare Research Carols. Because he started from scratch, started this university in Runyankore, we call it Omtara. Today, uh, we have the preachers who are there during community hour. But also on Sunday, tomorrow we shall have vice chancellor's tournament, and there will be a bull. And the exhibitions have been ongoing. The purpose of the exhibition will have been the theme of enhancement of teaching, learning, uh, and assessment with Odell in higher education because of National Council for Higher Education. But to have other exhibitions, and as you have seen, we have taken you through the farm. There is a lot that best you can do. And if you focus together, we shall be able to go far. Some of the BSU achievements, as I've already said, the charter, we have uh, increased the enrollment since 2002 when the university started. We now have over 5,000 students from 200. We have graduates who have passed through BSU 18,764. And last graduation alone, we had 1,773 with two PhDs. So we are a growing but strong university. We have increased the faculties. We have now five faculties and 14 departments. We have um, MOUs and accredited programs. We are part of the forum. You have seen the innovation, the incubation hub. Uh, you have seen the farm. You have seen the students who have exhibited with partners like Avis, the forum. We thank all the innovators involved. And we also have, we are actually, we are the best exhibitors in the forum. In a, when we had one, 121 universities. One of the, like Lemon Aftershave you have seen, it has an award of the best innovator, one of the youth who was not here, called Nahurira Hirare. So the staff who have been behind innovation, there is Dr. Rebecca Kadibuami, where are you? She was there. We have Dr. Deborah, uh, Madame Deborah, she's finishing her PhD. We have the dean. The dean, where are you? Moses? Yeah, the dean who took you around. Honorable Minister. Our metric rankings, we are now number 14. That is a big achievement from the 20s and 30s where we were. You need to clap for that. You no, know, 14, you are a strong university. We are competing with giants. Yes. And therefore, we are a giant. We have a REC, an accredited REC, Research Ethics Committee by National Council for Science and Technology, so you are free to come and register all your researches here. We have Trinity Western University collaboration. We have a first center. You can do masters, two masters of Canada when you are here in BSU. And you have seen Odell. We are now uh, having, actually, uh, we are creating a, an online campus. We hope very soon we shall be having online programs. Council has already endorsed that. We appreciate support from the forum already to enhance our online teaching. The MOUs, I've already talked about them. We are working on one. Uh, I know why you are critical. With Busite, my university, we have one with Muni, a tripartite one with Muni University and Guru University, Mast, Makerere, and several other MOUs. Really to ensure we work together. And Honorable Minister, you remember there is one when we were in uh, Benin. 
the ones you signed, BSU did not sign, but we signed later with the IUIU. So we are now moving. And the tripeta, it is because you gave us the way, so now we have a tripeta MOU, which means you can access facilities within the region or within Uganda and other universities to enhance our teaching. So Agro Studies Internship, we have Avis Foundation, you have seen. We have World Bank Essential Oil Extractor and um, former Governor Professor Dr. Tumsime Mutebile Equipment. He, has a, he had a honors doctorate of laws from BSU. So he, uh, he was our academic giant and development pattern. Even the library, I understand, he's the one who started the foundation with a fundraising where he raised over 70 million. Uh, we have our students who go to, is, uh, to German, Norway, and Denmark, and Expedia. Our partner in Expedia is exhibiting. I don't know if he's around. And so far, they are taking students who are doing uh, agriculture-related courses, but even now, tourism and catering is part. We have UBTEB Skilling Center. We are now having a diploma. You asked us engineering. We have started under UBTEB. We have common. We are under Commonwealth Association. Commonwealth Association of Commonwealth Universities. We have our faculty of law, I showed you when we were going the other side. But now to show that we are growing strong, we have an LLM. That is LLM. That is Masters in Laws. And our school of law is ranked as one of the best in the country. Employability, yes, employability. Our alumni are all over. They are the leaders, the managers in local government, Politics, including the mayor, the speaker, where we are now, they are the alumni of BSU. And uh, that is not a small achievement. If you go to almost all the teachers, uh, the education officers, inspectors of schools, they have a lineage and uh, belong in BSU. The presidential pledge we have shown you the building so far, we received 2.9 billion, and we hope more money will come of the 7.3338 billion pledge in 2000, in 2011. So, Honorable Minister, your support there is important. Infrastructure development, we are moving on well. There, we have improved the infrastructure here. Because of time, you have not gone to Haro campus to see the faculty of nursing and health sciences. You have seen the presidential one. The library is under construction. And uh, the chapel of the Good Shepherd, I cannot go without mentioning it that it's one of the projects to start on. <laughs> we appreciate your minister for coming to BSU and your team of experts. We appreciate the president of the Republic of Uganda. We appreciate the Minister of Education. We appreciate the National Council. Yesterday we had even the University Council represented here. We appreciate the Council, the Founding Chancellor, the Church Diocese, or Ankara Diocese, the Founding Bishop who was Emeritus, Dr. Irasha Chamgamba is there, the Vision Bearer, who is not here, but we really appreciate them and they have done a great work. And our own Chancellor, you are appreciated. I want to say all of you students of BSU and the staff, you are all appreciated to the glory of God. May God bless you, our God reigns. <laughs> Chair Council, that you have two minutes to greet, and then you call the bishop, who will invite our guest of honor to speak to the students. Two minutes each. I'm sorry, since they have given the microphone, the chaplains are dictating. <laughs> <laughs> the, VC, the VC is unfair. She uses half an hour and gives me two. <laughs> uh, I'll make my duty a very simple one. 
basically to welcome our honorable minister to our campus. We are very much honored. Thank you for coming. And also to, at the end, invite the chancellor to address. So I may not have much to say. Except that having toured the ICT department today, I got hope. I love the word hope. Yes. Even my wife is called hope. But I have hope. I hope I have hope that our lecturers, given the infrastructure development in that area, will now join the bandwagon of e-learning without any excuse at all. And that the students will seamlessly adopt the e-learning method. I will be disappointed if a computer if a computer is not a compulsory uh, item for any undergraduates to have. Just like when we were in primary school we had mathematical sets. A computer should be a compulsory item for a modern undergraduate. That one as a council shall pass it without mercy. I, I have hope that our campus will become a wallless campus, a campus without walls, that we can have our students study from anywhere in the world and register here and do exams of this campus, that we shall eventually have a paperless library because all the library will be on your laptop. I hope that that way our campus will grow to more than 30,000 in less than two years. And with those numbers, we shall have so much money that we shall compete with the government in paying our lecturers. But it will depend on the lecturers to produce those students. I was given one minute, perhaps I have used it too. Once again, I will come to the minister, most welcome to the campus, and it's my honorable and pleasurable duty to invite the chancellor to address you. Thank you very much. Our guest of honor, Honorable Dr. Monica Musenero Masanza, the chairman of council, council members who are around, the vice chancellor, and the top management, the staff, teaching and non-teaching, the student body led by the guild president and your cabinet, ladies and gentlemen, also not forgetting the media who are, were represented here. It gives me much joy to welcome uh, our guest of honor, whom I had the opportunity to listen to when she was making a presentation at Sheraton Hotel, I think last Friday or something, when I was also presenting on the, the Millennium Circle of Ankole Diocese, a success story, where our asset base is now on 15 billion in about nine years plus. I hope many of you are aware. But I listened to her presentation and I made my summary of saying, one, I listened to someone who is very intelligent. Uh, my apologies. And I saw someone who is, has strong Christian witness. And I saw someone who is so scientific. And I have also confirmed it today. When we were moving around, I could, real, I could see that her moving around was not similar to many guest of honors. <laughs> yes, because many people will run through, and uh, yes, I've heard you, but she's interested in, yeah, this is real science, I can see. Observation, critical analysis, probing, and you can see that there is even uh, some homework, some follow-up, possibly notes writing, and that kind. It is not common. I want to appreciate that. Honorable Minister, 
as you have heard from the, chance, the vice chancellor, especially, this university is young. And actually, today I was also reflecting and I said, I was realizing how blessed I've been because if this university is 20 years and I've been a bishop for 12 years, so 12 of those 20 have been part of this university as chancellor. And recently I was invited at UCU as guest of honor. UCU is celebrating 25 years and I am, I found myself that I've been 13 years part of that university also. Actually 16, three as a student and 13 as a lecturer, as a dean, where actually I used to be with the, the husband of Dr. Msenero, Dr. Masanza, and we were on council also together. And I was a chairman council for four years. So it is a real privilege, I'm so glad, to associate with these success stories on a personal note. For this university, Honorable Minister, as you have seen, it is young but really growing very fast. And one of the things for me I thank God for is, number one, is that the leadership, the governance, if you look at our council, yeah, actually it is, should be one of the most uh, highly educated council in Uganda among university councils. You have people like Professor Kagame, medical experts, Professor Kamontu, who is also almost uh, sits in cabinet. You have Professor Sabiti, very seasoned people. Until late, Professor Antozi, we have Professor Kazoba, and many others. And those who are not professors are also solid. So we really give thanks to God for that. And it's part of the success story. Because if you don't have a good team, it's very difficult to get results. And we thank God for that. And the vice chancellor, for the time she's been, she's done also tremendously well. And she's a, we give thanks to God that we are able to even have a lady that is also not common. And she's a scientist ethnobotanist, and she has led, and the university is really moving. So we thank God. As I come to a conclusion, perhaps the major point to note for you is that presidential pledge, which has been for long, for ages. We appreciate government because of this public-private partnership. And as you've seen, you can see how important it is that even the private sector, uh, these Christian not-for-profit, we are making a significant contribution to the social economic development of this country, many ways. So if we, we pray and hope, the most recent, His Excellency, when I met him, he said that, ah, Minister of Education paying this money, this is a lot. I think we need to locate it somewhere. I don't know whether in the budget of technology, <laughs> it might be a big one. So please, if so, if not, still advise from here as a follow-up, because he's more than willing. But he said until recently that uh -uh, education, they give us small 200, what does 200 million do on this building? 300 makes no meaning, not much meaning. But by the way, it has made a lot of meaning because even the little we get, we use it maximally, and the results are amazing. So please, that is the, one of the major take-homes, and I hope that will be done. Students, I want to appreciate you for good discipline. Clap for yourselves. I know sometimes we have problems here and there. There is no society which doesn't have problems. But on the whole, you are well disciplined. When I see you seated, listening to the programs, Bishop Rob CC has been having programs. I am given information, how you respond to Pedina, the information that is around that you need. And I urge you to be trustworthy, to be trustworthy, to be godly. Then you will succeed in the marketplace. 
That is very key. If you can only do that, all will be well. In conclusion, uh, the VC has mentioned that recently we are recognizing people who have made significant contribution to BSU since its founding. When we got the charter, one of the people, of course, the number one is president. There is a time we had a meeting in the state house, and the minister of education was who? Uh, the minister of education was Honorable Jessica Arupo, but there was also a deputy minister. And when our delegation went to state house, the minister had just been there and had traveled some distance, and they instructed him to come back. And we had discussions. And we thank God that eventually we got the, the charter, and the minister at that time was Honorable Jessica Lupo. So we shall request that you take this, which was meant for her yesterday is when it was issued out, and that you will hand it over to her kindly, if you can, as an appreciation. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Stand goddess. <laughs> Some of you, I don't know whether you remember Honorable Dr. Msenero. She was on the scientific committee. Is it, is it chair or not chair? On the HI, uh, what, sorry. The COVID-19, I think every press conference, she was always there. <laughs> so thank you also for fighting COVID-19. COVID In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can I take this opportunity to invite the Honorable Minister, our guest of honor, uh, to make her presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. And since many people have never had the honor of seeing my face without a mask, because I was uh, unveiled the nation with a mask, so allow me to take off my mask. There are two things, if I remove them, people will not recognize me, my Afro hair and my mask. Nobody will know that I'm the one. Uh, the bishop, the chair council, the vice chair, and all the members of council present, the vice chancellor, and the management of Bishop Stewart University, uh, the staff who work so hard in the institution, any district leaders, if present, the student leadership, the student body at large. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to express my appreciation for inviting me and giving me the honor to be the chief exhibitor at this very, very powerful event. Uh, the Vice Chancellor has tried to invite me many times, and I've always told them I'm the Minister of Science, but I've not yet invented the machine which duplicates me. So time has been very tight, but I thank God that today I've been able to make it, and to make sure nothing arises in the night, I came yesterday so that if anybody calls me, I say, I'm already in Imbarara. <laughs> I, I could have woken up early this morning and come, but actually for sure I found something uh, in my mailbox asking me if I could attend a certain meeting. But I said, I'm already in Imbarara. So uh, I just try to make sure that I, I stay here. And thank you very much, the PRO, for the warm welcome. 
I will make my remarks here brief because my address is going to be in two parts. This one and then an intensive one with the staff and the management of the university. I would like to begin by introducing my staff whom I have moved with. Uh, I have moved with uh, a number of people. Uh, can you stand up, please? Where's Joshua? Can you come within where we can see you momentarily? I'm introducing, first wait, I'm introducing these people because they are going to be important in the way forward of my visit. Uh, Dr. Catherine Wandera is one of the senior staff at Science, Technology, and Innovation. And she is in charge of import substitution all over the nation. She's responsible for identifying commodities that we can rapidly work on so that we can substitute imports which have flooded our supermarkets and our stores. She's a very, very intelligent lady. I, I poached her from Chambogo University, so she understands how universities work. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Joshua Isiko, please. I can't see you meaning this side. Oh, he's more interested in the <laughs> in the things that people are showing. So Dr. Joshua Isiko is the head of productivity acceleration. He's responsible for making sure that Ugandans can be helped to produce uh, faster, produce things faster. So if you're producing with very low technology and you need some acceleration, he's the one who heads the national program. He, he understands, he has been in this region. He works with people from community and productivity acceleration runs from increasing household productivity and he's, res he's in charge of science, technology, and innovations input into the parish development model. So he's a very important person to know. You'll notice that they are all younger than me. <laughs> uh, I've moved with uh, Lydia. Lydia Namleni. Uh, she's a very powerful lady because you won't see me without her. Neither can you get me here unless she gives you permission. She's my personal assistant. <laughs> and then I have my very, very important security staff. They are around all over. You may not see all of them, but they dedicate their lives to making sure that I stay safe and alive to serve, to deliver my mission to the nation. They are very important people, including my drivers and uh, these men around me. So I would like to share a few things. Uh, first of all, um, to say that uh, um, I'm kind of gratified as I moved around. Uh, as the bishop has said, I am a technical minister. I am not a ceremonial minister. I am engaged in the technical work and uh, I participate in understanding what the industry that the president has entrusted me with. So as I have moved around, uh, I've paid attention and uh, chair council and your team and the vice chancellor I want to say that I think the university is pointed in the right direction. Although you are still moving at snail speed, you'll need some productive acceleration 
but you are pointed in the right direction. I would like to say that this is a new generation. Many people, when they think about the phenomenon of COVID, they see it as a disease. But those phenomena which impact the entire world rarely happen. Where the entire globe is equalized. And this is an opportunity that God gives every nation to restart. It's like we were running a race and they cancel the start signal and call all of us back to the start line. So COVID and the follow-up effect of the war, actually for me I look at that war as a period of grace because the nations that had been called back to the start line did not recognize the signal. Now this war in Europe is a great period for us to, act, to realize the signal. Because COVID came, yes. A big public health problem, yes. How on earth did Africa survive and have the least impact of this disease? How else? Actually, when, for us who know what, because I'm a public health expert, when I realized what this virus is, I was scared for my continent. I knew in Uganda we had the capacity to do much in public health because on the continent we have the best public health team. We have most of the professionals serving many countries come from Uganda. All we had to do was call them back and then they would come. But we still expected the worst. However, Africa largely came out as the least affected continent by COVID in terms of deaths and numbers of people who fell sick. However, it is obvious that many of us still looked at the bad side of COVID. We have been worried about COVID. We were so anxious, but COVID came to give us a moment to think how we can start as Africa, how we can start as Uganda, how we can start the innovation, how we can start and stand side by side, if not a little ahead of other nations. But when that time came as in the Bible, we seem not to have recognized it a lot. So now I want to amplify the voice brought by COVID and the bonus given by the war. COVID is what ignited uh, an anger, an active anger. And this call was initiated by other than His Excellency, the President of Uganda, to the continent saying, wake up, men, wake up. Wake up, we cannot keep standing. We must take steps to take our nations and our people forward. And I was privileged to be a soldier near his presence. And he assigned me to see if we can start to really catalyze science, technology, and innovation because it is what has moved every nation ahead. But for us, we are on the floor of science, technology, and innovation. And um, that call has gone. It has moved to the African Union. It has moved to other nations. But I see that Uganda is one of the most awake nations now. Now, when challenges like came like, okay, we don't have masks, we, don't, we didn't make any in Uganda until COVID came. We had one sanitizer manufacturing company in the country when COVID came. And by the time the president called me up, 
I remember going for the first meeting. A neighboring company had paid for six weeks of production of our only company in Uganda. And we were like, Your Excellency, please, we need the sanitizer. He said, Make more. Go and find people to make more. You are going to sell to the neighbor, and you, let me see if your own people will die. We are now sanitizer exporters. There was no gratification more than when I saw a consignment of sanitizer being exported from Uganda to Europe. Yes. I oversaw the installation of the equipment and the factory to make the first of these. And during that time, we started to export to Europe and to America masks. And we started to do work on things that we had never thought of. We started to work on vaccines. We started to work on diagnostics. We started to work on medicines, things that we thought for us were simply consumers. In other words, COVID brought a paradigm shift. It brought a revolution in our thinking. And needless to say, COVID brought him Senero as minister. So, and now come this additional extra time where prices of fuel rose so high and in some countries actually there is a nation known as Sri Lanka, they ran out of fuel completely and it led to collapse of government. But I keep thinking, collapse of government, what would the new government do? Yes, it led to the collapse, but what will they do? Even a new one is going to come in and find the same problems. Unless you have engineered a solution, you are, not, you are just going to stay in office for two, three months, and again they will revolt because there is nothing you can do. But as you can see, last year we had been, the, as a, a country, we've been working on these motor vehicles slowly, electric vehicles, slowly, very, very slow. When I was made minister, I immediately foresaw what was coming and focused and we accelerated that company, Jira Motors. Actually, they, have re they received more money in one year when I've been minister than all the money they had received in the five years they had been there. And come next month, we'll be launching the first mass transit with Ugandan-made electric vehicles in Kampala. With uh, all the support from His Excellency, we have been availed money, and we are going to quickly manufacture more. Hope we'll set up the mass transit for Mbarara very soon, so that you don't get into the problems that Kampala has. Very nice, it's the best bus that I have ever used and I've been to over 50 countries in the world. This is among the best buses globally. Now many of us are sitting again through this saying, oh, there is a problem, subsidy. Problems are a call for innovation. Problems open up opportunity. They are saying where you are sitting is expiring or it is too small. Can you think? Can you think the best technology in the world is not in machines? The best technology is a piece of equipment called the brain which apparently each one of us possesses. Universally distributed. Is there one without, any without a brain? Who doesn't have? 
Everything you see in the world, all that technology you admire is a product of the brain. And we happen to be very, very well endowed. And this is now the paradigm of the African brain. We are positioning ourselves to unleash the power of the African brain. And that is why I am so delighted with what I saw. Uh, the people moving with me were more conscious about time and more conscious about what I am seeing. So I would like to say that there are a few barriers we are going to overcome. Uh, there is a story in the Bible. They were fighting. Then somebody, one of the uh, the soya people somehow sneaking ahead of where the dead body is. <laughs> they needed to, we needed to completely remove the dead body and maybe they needed to, some motivation to see the opposing army so that they can surge forward. But I have been uh, encouraged by what I've seen uh, I will just summarize what Bishop said he listened to. This is a Christian university. And one of the challenges I've found in Christian institutions is we are afraid of progress. We are afraid of development. Just in case we annoy God. Because we somehow think that certain things belong to God. Creation belongs to God. So we should not create too much just in case we annoy God and step on his mandate. The Bible clearly tells us that the heavens belong to God. But the earth he has given to the sons of men. I am in a, a Christian institution. I hope you know scripture. The earth he has given to who? To sons of men. But somehow, we spend most of our time delegating responsibility to God. We are waiting on God. When did he tell you to wait on him? He sent you to go and be fruitful and multiply the value, not the children just, but multiply the value hmm? and fill the earth and have dominion. Why do we spend so much time? There are only three things with God up. The glory, the power, and what? And the honor. That's what he kept with himself. The glory, the power, and the honor. That one belongs to him. The rest belong to you. They are your responsibility. And when you do them, and do them well, you multiply the glory, you multiply the honor, and you give it back to him. When you sit here in poverty, and backwardness and misery, government to Yambe, all the time, you dishonor, you reduce the glory, and you abuse the power. Development must start within the church and a Christian institution with science, technology, and innovation must be the one showing this nation the way to go. And that's my expectation of you. We also, so we, we received a gospel of poverty, which cut off the other part of prosperity. That God never associates himself with poverty and misery and backwardness. You show me where he does that in the Bible. He doesn't associate himself with such things. So let us complete the gospel, Bishop. 
the ones who brought us the other one, they also gave us a powerful tool called the Bible. It is now our time to use the machinery called the brain, that gadget that God gave us, and also for us to use the resources that he gave us. He gave us hands. He gave us the human being is the only creature that creates. It's the only creature. God made us, according to Psalm 8, he just made us a little lower than angels. Continuity of creation is your responsibility. And he signals the need for you to create by allowing problems to come. Every time you miss a problem, to take advantage, you have denied God to receive greater honor. You have denied God to receive the more power. The second aspect that you are in is you are in education. And we received, from those who brought for us education, we received an incomplete education. Received an education which prepares technicians, not innovators and creators. Just look around. And you go into your, do you have medicine here? Nursing. And now I want you to go and look into your curriculum and see if there is a chapter which trains your nursing students to, to produce the things they use in nursing. To, you are teaching them to use, isn't it? Yes, how to make a bed, not how to make the beds, the, 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 the equipment that goes onto the bed. Not even how to make the bed. Not even how to produce, you know, we do not innovate. Be, not because it's your fault, but partly because the education system. And I've been amazed by people who haven't been to school. The majority of our innovators have not been to school. Because they are not encumbered with all the knowledge. The challenge is that their lack of education limits how far they can go. Now it's your responsibility, Bishop and your team, to give us a complete education system. Because without a complete education system, we shall, be, we shall move slowly, too, too slowly. You have started, you need to do a lot more. So at uh, the education system that we have, we shall talk a little bit more in the scientific <laughs> discussion. Uh, we are going to, we need to reshape the attitudes. I saw some young people. They are innovating. And one told me, I'm doing this just in case after I finish school, I cannot find a job. Meaning that if should she find a job, she will abandon the innovation. <laughs> University graduates are leaders. You are the market creators. So don't position yourselves for jobs. Position yourselves to be job creators who create enterprises which then employ the technicians. Otherwise, we are going to run out of jobs. So I would like to end uh, my presentation by informing you that at Science, Technology, and Innovation, we have reshaped science. We have started, we, we made our pledge that uh, this year we want at least 50% of the Ugandan population to be aware of the role of science, technology, and innovation in our country. And I think we are making good progress. We would like you as leaders, and you see, sometimes you just think, oh, for me, I'm doing law. I saw a lawyer there exhibiting a scientific innovation. <laughs> eh? So just because you've been here at Bishop Stewart, create the, create the knowledge, create the environment. You don't need it to be the scientist. You can create something which employs the scientist. You don't need to be the scientist. 
uh, I would like to challenge the university management and the innovators to simulate those to be brought together. One person finds it hard to grow an enterprise. So let us simulate a, a, a business environment. Um, we would like, I would like also to encourage you to get out of uh, preparing the students as potential subsistence SMEs, produce them for industry. And we would be very happy to work with you. That's why I came with the two officers. They will work with you to analyze more of what we have seen. You saw them profusely taking notes of my comments and your comments. And we will identify the most market ready innovations and work with you to transition them to industry. Uh, so I would like to, since I'll be speaking more, but our focus is to make science as an asset for the nation. Our office is located at Plot 106, Katalima Road, in Kampala. That's the head office. And uh, we have their unique support services uh, where you can find the people to help you, to guide you where you should go with your enterprise. We have found incubators. Uh, many incubators throughout the country. They need incubation. The incubators need incubation. So we are going to incubate the incubations, the incubators, so that they can start to produce industries and not uh, just one person enterprises. But I want to congratulate you. I've seen your students have a good attitude. Uh, they are thinking, they are innovating, and uh, an interaction with the senior people uh, in the business sphere would be very useful. We have an innovation exchange center where they can interact. And also, we are purposefully winning innovators of the mindset that it is government must put money into your innovation because we have found that makes them addicted to free money and they don't want to work to become businesses. So after a little bit of support, we help you to get business funding. So thank you so much. I'll be talking to the others uh, a little bit later. I want to challenge the scientists. Be humble. Don't annoy the artists. Okay? Scientists, do you hear me? Uh, be humble. Because we need one another. So don't, don't annoy them. And help us to convince the arts teachers that their own salary increment is coming. But we are starting with the scientists so that the scientists can create for us these prototypes. Then the artists can come around and rebuild the industries and make everybody happy. Thank you very much for God and my country. God bless you. Head and celebrate and give her a mighty hand clap. Thank you so much, Honorable. Honorable Minister, we thank you so much and we want to declare our, our love for you and we praise the name of the Lord for you. I love to invite the Bishop to uh, we'll go with you and then the staff, we want to invite you into the chapel in here and as we prepare to, uh, to allow her come and speak to you Please, let's join the chapel, and we will be in there. 
Anthony, you with your team, let's do this very quickly and we'll do something. Can I invite you, Bishop, to pray a blessing to us? Okay. Before the blessing, we have students of fine art who did some good drawing of you, and uh, they can come here and... Uh, the community, you appreciate them by clapping hands for them. Ah, you leave the... F we also want the guild president. Where is the guild president? He will be the one to hand over and uh, have a, a vote of thanks. Guild president or deputy? He is where? They can take a photo of you before... Where is the deputy? You are the one? Okay. Uh -huh. So you can pass it on. Let her give you the... Vote of thanks in two words. Thank you, our Lord Bishop, our guest of Anna, our Chair Council, Vice Chancellor, and all our invited guests. Praise the Lord. Uh, you want to take this great opportunity to welcome our minister in Bishop Stewart University on behalf of the Students' Guild. And on behalf of Bishop Stewart Fraternity, you're most welcome to this university. And I want to thank the university administration, headed by the chancellor, your vice chancellor, for preparing this, the BSU Mission Week. We are so much thankful, and I wish Wish you all the best for the remaining function. Thank you. Hey, clap hands for your leader. Yes. You can stand up and we pray and then have uh, a stanza of the national theme as we, the guest of honor recesses. And the staff, you go to the chapel do we have a quick address? Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much for this great moment and occasion and day and event. And we thank you because you blessed us with very many high-profile visitors to our university who have been a special blessing in very many ways, including today the visit of the Honorable Minister of ICT of innovation and science and technology. We pray that you continue to bless us, to have more collaboration with her and her office, and that there will be a lot of follow-up, and that the challenges she has, the, ch the way she has challenged us, we shall take it in seriously and be able to reflect and see how to improve where we have not been going right. And we continue to pray for this university that, Lord, it continues to excel, especially in research and innovation, which is one of the main core objectives of a university worth its name. May you continue to use the lecturers, also to take the lead in this direction, and the students, and the key stakeholders, and we thank you for the government. We thank you for the charter that we were able to get among many through the efforts even of His Excellency the President. Thank you for the pledge, and even for the further that he had, has done, and even the 800 million on our account, which is going to be used well. May you continue to bless us and guide us so that everything will work out for the glory of your name. We thank you, we praise you, we honor you, 
Through Christ our Lord we pray. Blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you all, now and always. Amen. The stuff we shall go in the, the chapel and do